Once all venue data has been entered, acoustic sources can be added for simulation. ArrayCalc supports line arrays, point sources and subarrays. Let's start by adding a line array. First, select the system of choice, the mounting method and whether it should be a stereo pair or a single array. And don't forget the housekeeping. Next, the position within the venue and the aiming can be specified. For every array, the load condition, weight and rigging information are shown and constantly updated when changes are made. The array view provides information about the mechanical shape and center of gravity. The top view shows the aiming and horizontal coverage of the top and bottom cabinet of the array relative to the venue. As with every loudspeaker, proper aiming in the vertical plane is crucial for a good result. The overall tilt or frame angle and the individual splay angles determine the level distribution and tonal balance within the coverage area of a line array. While manipulating the vertical angles, the profile view displays the main axes of all cabinets versus the audience geometry. At the same time, the direct sound level versus distance plot gives important indications about the expected tonal balance and overall SPL throughout the venue. Two frequency ranges can be shown at the same time. To judge tonal balance over distance, it is recommended to look at 4K and 250Hz and try to find angle settings that keep these two lines more or less parallel. To evaluate overall level over distance, different broadband settings can be selected. To determine the maximum possible SPL, increase the signal level for the selected broadband signal until gain reduction is indicated in the array. The maximum achievable level also depends on various loudspeaker-specific settings. The top and profile view as well as the level over distance plot can be collapsed and expanded by clicking on the respective caption. Additional functions can be found in the pop-out menus of the Sources and Array dialogs. The context-sensitive help function is called by pressing F1.